Science. Taking part in the Tour de France is a dream for many keen cyclists, but even if you don't have time to get to the Alps, you can still attempt some of the race's mythic climbs and sprints thanks to this virtual reality software. But it's not just of interest to time-challenged bikers. Doctors at a Dutch university plan on using a similar program for people with Parkinson's disease. Of course, they can use uh, an outside bike, but they're not able to stop because then will, they will drop off. If you see a Parkinson patient walking, they need support by one or two people. But uh, uh, as a miracle, once they sit on a bike, they easily bike forward. Parkinson's is caused by a loss of nerve cells in the part of the brain responsible for producing dopamine, a chemical which acts as a messenger between the brain and nervous system. That's why movements in people with the disease become slow and jerky. Yet some patients, even though they can barely walk, can cycle perfectly well. And a virtual race helps too. We try to, to um, um, uh, focus on what actually was the winning factor and we found out that it was the engagement of being in the game being motivated and this is uh, also interesting for uh, the treatment of the patient for the long term some scientists think that bicycling uses a different part of the brain than walking which might not be so severely affected by parkinson's others say the rhythmic pressure of the pedals on patients feet may act as a cue to the nervous system to allow the cycling movement